Hello friends, this is Durga again from IT Varsity, a one-stop shop to learn all the technologies. At this time, we are talking about uh, CCAH or Cloudera Certified Administrator of Apache Hadoop. And as part of this video, I will try to uh, explain you how to uh, explain you determining the best data serialization choice for a given scenario. So first, we need to understand what a serialization is and uh, what are different types of serialization um, supported by uh, by Hadoop. Uh, so there is a writable serialization and also there is the Avros serialization and then uh, 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 there is Java serialization also. You will understand all those things as we move forward. So first let us understand what is serialization and deserialization because as a developer if you are from Java background you might have some idea about serialization and deserialization but for administrators uh, it is not common to know what this is. So I am emphasizing on serialization and deserialization. So when you actually talk about Java, we typically talk about objects and the objects is in memory. So outside the memory, the object cannot survive. If it has to be survived, it has to be uh, converted into a byte stream. So the process of turning these objects which are typically stored into memory into a byte stream so that we can transmit these uh, uh, objects as byte stream over a network or we can write it into persistent storage is called serialization. So serialization is the process of turning structured objects which are typically in memory into a byte stream so that we can transmit over the network or we can actually save on a persistent storage. And deserialization is just the reverse process of turning a byte stream back into a series of structured objects because if we have to process the data in programming languages like Java, everything has to be represented as object with, um, which is preserved in memory so that we can do processing on top of it. So if you have some data on files uh, and if you, uh, if you uh, want to transfer into objects, you have to uh, do the deserialization process. So on files you will have byte stream and that byte stream has to be deserialized so that we can actually build structured objects out of the, that byte stream and this process is called as deserialization. In the context of Hadoop, serialization is used for inter-process communication as well as while storing data persistently. So uh, I have briefly covered about map, uh, reducers and uh, uh, shuffle and sort uh, earlier in couple of videos and uh, in that the, the output of the mapper has to go through the shuffle and sort phase and uh, then it has to pass on to the reducer. So there is there is an inter-process communication which needs to be done and that is done using serialization and deserialization process and also when you want to store this data you have to serialize it so that the data can be stored as part of the blocks in the files. For inter-process communication remote processor calls are used and the RPC protocol uh, uses serialization to render the message into a binary stream to be sent to the remote node which then deserializes the binary stream into the original message. Okay, And uh, when it comes to uh, serialization for RPC which is remote processor call, uh, the serialization should be compact means uh, it should not be heavy, it should be fast, it should be extensible and it should be interoperable. Interoperable means uh, the serialization process, uh, the serialization and deserialization process should work between multiple programming languages. Extensible means if you do not have uh, uh, the necessary functionality, you should be able to build on top of existing uh, uh, functionality, um, so hence serialization should be extensible. And it should be fast so that uh, the, the byte stream is transferred, uh, bit, uh, uh, is transferred fast and uh, uh, to make it fast it has to be compact. And not only the transfer process, but also the serialization and deserialization process has to be very fast. Uh, so, uh, for the RPC purpose, the serialization has to be compact, fast, extensible, and interoper interoperable. And uh, those are the things which are kept in mind while implementing serialization in Hadoop. Uh, the, the, the default serialization is writable serialization, which is uh, driven by an interface called writable interface, which have two methods. Write, write and read fields and uh, you can override those things and uh, make it extensible to come up with your own uh, serializable classes for Hadoop. And also out of the box there are a bunch of classes in Hadoop API which implement writable interface such as in, intritable, 
uh, text etc. So, these are the list of uh, primitive Java types uh, where writable serialization is already implemented for boolean, boolean writable, byte, byte writable, sort, sort writable, int, int writable etc. You do not need to memorize these things because these are more relevant for the developer. Only thing is you should focus on the best data serialization choice for a given scenario. So, first we have to understand the serialization choices and then we can decide which one is best. And then uh, there are other civilization frameworks also. It is not, not mandatory to implement or use writable itself. Hadoop has API for pluggable civilization framework. The package uh, where the civilization is implemented is org.apache.hadoop.io.serializer. It has writable civilization for implementing civilization for writable types. So, the class writable civilization in that package actually takes care of uh, the logic to uh, uh, to uh, to use writable types. We can customize the serialization by using io.serializations. You can go to our cluster. And then uh, click on HDFS. Click on configuration. Search for IO dot serializations. So I think it it uses the default value, hence they are not uh, showing up here. If you want to customize, you can customize by overriding this value. But this is the parameter which we will use uh, for the serialization. Cloudera set this value to both writable and Auro serialization, which means that both Hadoop writable objects and Auro objects can be serialized and deserialized out of the box. It, it is using the default values and hence it is not showing up here, but uh, uh, you, uh, you can set it any time means if you want you can set it using the cloud data manager and you can choose either writable serialization or avro serialization both are supported out of the box and, uh, and these are the avro primitive types uh, and uh, uh, again you don't need to memorize these things now being understand uh, and the different serialization frameworks such as uh, writable and avro we need to understand uh, when we should use what so, if you are using only Java based MapReduce programs, you can use writable interfaces or writable serialization because most of the uh, primitive types are already implemented. Unless you are processing uh, 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 data in Avro format, there is no need to use Avro. But if you want to, uh, uh, if you want to use the data, uh, if you want to process the data with programming language other than Java then uh, probably it will be better to go with Avro uh, because uh, uh, Avro uh, is a file format which is supported by multiple programming languages and uh, it, uh, it uses JSON type of uh, uh, file format uh, to represent each record and uh, hence you can easily uh, process the data using Avro type of simulation where you are trying to use uh, uh, Hadoop streaming or Hadoop uh, pipes uh, to process data using programming language such as uh, uh, Perl or C etc. So, that is the major uh, uh, um, major uh, 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 that is the major objective of this task determine the best data civilization choice for a given scenario. Uh, by default, uh, it supports writable as well as Avro. But if you want to process data with programming language other than Java, uh, when you try to process uh, data using MapReduce, yeah, it will be better to go with Avro serialization because Avro is a industry standard uh, serialization framework uh, which, which work with multiple programming languages, whereas writable is primarily uh, Java based. And you should never use Java serialization because it is very heavy. Uh, compared to writable in Avro, uh, hence you should not consider the Java serialization. Okay, so the choice will be between writable and Avro. If your data processing is done using MapReduce with Java as programming language, 
and if the data format is not available, just use writable uh, formats. If the data is uh, data format is available, or if you want to process data using Hadoop streaming or Hadoop pipes, where you develop MapReduce using uh, other programming languages than Java, there probably you can choose going with Avro. That being said, I hope you are enjoying the content on my channel. If you like this video, please click on the like button. If you want to provide the feedback, please use the comment section of the video. If you want to discuss further about certifications or big data, please join my LinkedIn groups called ITVersity-certifications or ITVersity-big data. And finally, if you are not subscribed to my channel yet, please do so. You will get to see a lot more content like this over time. Thank you. Bye.